Welcome to our new channel. So excited to be here today and start this new chapter. We got some projects here. What do we got? Project number one, we are gonna take uh, Ordinary Engineer's swing arm desk lamp and we're gonna put a LED light bar, an off-road LED light bar for a vehicle yeah, on the lamp in place of the standard bulb socket. And it's just gonna be awesome. How do you think this is gonna work? It's gonna be great. You guys, this is just your average run of the mill desk light. Okay, this is a Torch Star. Uh, Amazon cheapo, it's like 23 bucks. 23 bucks, I mean, you can't go wrong. It's with actually it. a lot smaller than we thought it was gonna be. It's... And with our budget right now, I mean, it's worth the money. You know, <laughs> one day, maybe yeah, we can on the budget. Yeah, you gotta exactly. do what you gotta do. Yeah, and you know, quite frankly, I mean, this is something that you can use for almost anything. I mean, you could use it for a desk, or you could use it for a workbench. A workbench. That's what you could use it for. Or a computer light. Or a. So, what's the first step? Unboxing, isn't it? All right. So, some of the features are we have this 120, it has E26 or E27 socket type black in color and it is iron and ceramic 40 watts max has on off rocker switch and max opening of the clamp is two inches i mean i don't know what more you would want out of a desk lamp dude so one year warranty man dude exactly all right so let's get right into this all right who's got the knife been waiting so long to do this dude <laughs> i just hope I oh there's something okay 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 we're good there's a nice premium package. packaging in a wow. cardboard box. Oh, it's even bubble wrap. Oh, oh solid, my gosh. solid wrapping there. Look at that. Okay, let's get right into this. It's like Christmas. It's relatively lightweight. Look at all the bubble wrap they use. Okay. All right. This is the main lamp assembly. This is looks, the base. Looks like some assemblies required here. There it is. Did it even come with a light bulb? No bulb included. Oh. Well. But it came with instructions. Okay. There's all no right. All right. Here. All right. User manual. Make sure you oh, read that. We gotta put a pin in that. Okay. Here's this. Thing. Oh, we gotta tighten the pin. It's already there. <laughs> oh no. Well, you guys get the idea. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. So it has the the clip with multiple multiple different angles, and you can do the base. It reminds me of the little Pixar lamp. Exactly. Remember those things? I think that would dance around like in the yeah. beginning oh, of yeah. the movie. It's basically the cheap Amazon version of that. Dude, I love it. The black is so sleek too. All right, so here is the unboxing of the eight inch LED light bar. Made in China. 12 volts. In China, gotta emphasize that. Oh okay. yeah. So let's open this plain brown box here. Look at that. Oh, so, there it is. We, we found our it. light bulb. <laughs> Dude, that thing's cool. But the thing that you don't understand is how heavy this is. Yeah, it's got some weight to it. I really hope that that lamp stand will hold this. <laughs> we'll see. We got our mounting brackets. Mounting bracket. Cool. One of those. And I'm sure the hardware is in there to, to connect so, them. Looks like some stainless steel hardware. We got some washers. Allen wrenches, washers. What do we got? All right. We got a lot of stuff here. Three different size hex keys. Two different, probably mounting bolts, and then these bolts. Ah, with going on the washers. side. Yeah. And it's so easy, they didn't even give us instructions. So easy. You figure out yourself. All right. There you go. Cool. There it is. All right. So, an interesting problem that we came across with this specific light is. It is only two wire design, so there is your ground or your negative, and then your positive. However, the light itself has two different circuits, one for the DRLs and one for the main LEDs. You gotta choose one or the other. You can't have both, and that's not okay for us. Yeah, we wanted to have both at the same time as far as just getting the most light output from the light altogether. However, that's not an option as far as the factory setup. So we're gonna it apart and see if we can see what's going on inside to make it do that and see if we can bypass it.
Well, we decided to give up. <laughs> Something to do with all this circuitry, it has a switching circuit that is not easily bypassed. And it seems like so tough and we really don't want to put the work and effort in like a $20 <laughs> LED light. So we're going to put it back together and pretend like we didn't do this. Return it and we're going to get a different LED light for this project and see if we can find something that works a little better than this one. So we have resorted to using a bulb. We thought it would work since the other LED light did not work. Uh, so it's kind of a tiny lamp considering the bulb sticks way out. Just a so standard weird. bulb. But Does it work? Okay, it works. <laughs> temporary. So temporary use, sticks Just using right the now. bulb as it normally, or using the lamp as it normally would be used. I mean, do you need to put an LED, that big LED block on this lamp? No, you do not. But we want to try, dang it, okay? You can't kill us for one. There's a will, there's a way. We'll find a way. Here's the desk lamp, and there's the LED light that we're gonna attach. We're gonna like pretty much Frankenstein this thing together. All right, so the concept is these LED lights have a threaded spot on the end where the normal brackets would mount. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the bulb housing on this lamp and modify this connection piece to be able to thread in to the LED light and essentially mount this right there and that will be the new light. And we're gonna modify it to be a 12 volt with a power supply like right. something similar to this. Hopefully it holds up. This is heavier than yeah, what that I know. is. So I know. We'll find out. We'll see what happens. All right, so we got our adapter here. Okay. Let's see if this works. These guys work. Oh. All right, there you go. It works. Nice and bright. Wow. That one's good. Sure Let's make it two for two one. here. Two for two. All right, we're good to go. Nothing like 100%. First things first, take these two screws out and take off the bulb housing. All right, we're going in. There's next door neighbors outside. What's going on? An unused toilet. <laughs> this means that it's a garage. All right, so concept is we're gonna take this piece, the original lamp connector, and we're gonna cut it and then weld this bolt in place. So here's the completed product. All right, let's plug this in. Time this is the moment of truth right here, guys. The... Now, if this works, you guys have to hit that like button for us. Give us a subscribe. <laughs> All right, here we go. Boom. Hey. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Now, now, we took this stupid, boring bulb fixture, got rid of that, and now we have a custom modified LED off-road light desk lamp it's pretty cool guys i mean it's hard to tell by video but <laughs> sitting right by it man yeah. i mean it's cool 20 bucks for the lamp and it was like 20 some bucks for a pair of two of these gotta figure out something to do with this other one attach it from the other side <laughs> <laughs> there it is there it is fully functional led light bar lamp